inside of Plossensee Prison was an execution chamber in which thousands of people were executed inside of. This prison was a place where a guillotine and also a hanging beam could be found, and inside of here executioners could take the lives of victims in just seconds. They would, on the guillotine, be able to carry out an execution in as short as time as seven seconds. But inside of Plötzensee, the executioners would also carry out the will of Adolf Hitler, as they were ordered in the aftermath of the July 20th plot to execute the condemned slowly in a very painful way. These were executed using piano wire, and it was said that the deaths were filmed so that Adolf Hitler could watch them back and see his justice being administered to those who tried to take his life. However, what is the story of the guillotine of the prison that executed 3,000 enemies of Adolf Hitler? Join us today as we look at this, and to support our channel as always, please make sure to subscribe. Plötzensee Prison was a site founded under King William I, and was built upon Plötzensee Manor, but as time went on it expanded and grew to hold many prisoners. Up to 1,400 prisoners lived on the site, and today it is still a place where people are incarcerated. The executions that occurred at Plötzensee date back to before the Second World War, where an executioner would take the lives of murderers using just an axe, like an old-style medieval execution. But Plötzensee would be one of 11 central execution sites established by Adolf Hitler in 1936, and there was an executioner based there who would carry out the number of death sentences which were going up. As mentioned inside the execution chamber, which was found in the courtyard, was a hanging beam, but also a guillotine or a falbile, a metal guillotine which was adapted from the French-style guillotine. The falbile was the device which was modified from the French one, and it was firstly made from metal, and many of these were placed as permanent sites inside of prisons and were bolted down to carry out the increasing number of people who were executed within Nazi Germany. Hitler decided upon the guillotine or falbile as he wanted a quick and efficient method of executing his enemies, and he wanted this done quickly, and he settled on the device to do this. During the Nazi regime, 2,891 people were convicted by the notorious Nazi People's Court, and were executed at Plotzensee. A guillotine was brought into the prison from 1937 to replace execution by axe, as Hitler deemed it to be too barbaric, and he did not want his Nazi regime to be seen as backwards and medieval. What was also shocking is that at the time, the families of those who were executed and awaiting their death sentence were forced to pay one and a half Reichmarks each day for the victim to be held there, and they also then had to pay an execution charge of 300 Reichmarks for their beloved to be executed. Executioners received an annual salary of 3,000 Reichmarks, and a special bonus of 60 marks for each execution performed, and the executioner of Plötzensee, Rotzka, to begin with arrived at the prison twice a week to carry out his work in the early evenings. Guillotinings could be carried out at three-minute intervals, and the prisoner would be fetched from their prison cell to then walk outside into the courtyard. A prisoner would then be led into the brick-built execution chamber by the executioner's assistant, and he would then secure the victim's hands and legs before they were tied and strapped to the wooden board. This was then slid under the guillotine and the blade, and within seconds the executioner would do a final check, and he would then release the guillotine blade, and the condemned would lose their heads very quickly. Following the executions, the bodies were released to Hermann Stever, who was an anatomist at the medical college of the university nearby. He and his students would then dissect them for research purposes, and even executed women's bodies were sent there. An Allied bombing raid would destroy part of the cell block at Plots and Say, and also would damage the guillotine, and it would put this beyond use, and other methods were then used to execute. But some of the most high-profile executions using the guillotine saw resistance fighters and even teenagers, and those who opposed the Nazis, led towards the device of death. Helmer Fubener was considered the youngest person executed who was involved in resistance to the Nazis and was sentenced to death by the People's Court. He was just 17 
when he went to his death inside the execution chamber, and he was influenced by banned foreign media and propaganda, and he would make leaflets that would be distributed to convince younger people to avoid their service in the Hitler Youth, and he also convinced them to try and oppose Hitler wherever they could. Hubener was arrested by the Gestapo, and he was, despite being just 17, tried as an adult. His lawyers and mother, and even the Berlin Gestapo, would appeal for clemency on his behalf and for the young teenager, however none of this was shown. The death sentence he was given was later upheld, and he was told he would die on the day of his execution, at 1.05pm. Later on the 27th of October, at 8.13pm, he was led towards the execution chamber, was then executed by the guillotine inside the execution chamber at Plötzensee, within seconds of entering the chamber, and he lost his head. Eva-Marie Busch was also just a young woman of 22 when she was executed on the guillotine. She had become a member of the Red Orchestra resistance group, and Busch was charged and was brought to trial. She had written articles calling for slave labourers to rise up in the ammunition factories, and because of this she was found guilty and was then executed on the 5th of August 1943 on the guillotine inside of Plötzensee. Maurice Bavard was a man who tried and plotted to assassinate Adolf Hitler. He would purchase a pistol and he intended to shoot Hitler as he passed during a parade. His attempt was abandoned when during a parade in Munich, Hitler was marching in a company of other Nazi leaders who Bavard did not want to injure. He would also at times travel to Brechtesgaden where Hitler's Birkhoff was to try and carry out his plot, but he would never try and take a shot at Adolf Hitler. He was tried by the People's Court and he was declared to have acted alone in his assassination attempt and plot, but there was an offer made to swap him for other prisoners, but this was turned down and he was then guillotined inside of Plötzensee. There were many other guillotines which were used across Germany to carry out the will of Adolf Hitler. Some were used by skilled executioners who could take the life of someone in just seconds after they passed into the executioner's possession. Plötzensee became known as the House of the Dead and the reputation of the site inside the courtyard was known all over Germany. But the guillotine or foul of Plötzensee prison was known to have been a brutal execution device where thousands lost their lives and their heads. It was a terrifying way to go and was a device which was stolen from the French and modified to be more efficient. It was brutal justice as prisoners made their way to the execution chamber and anyone who would oppose Hitler or the Nazi regime was subjected to this form of execution. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.